What is up my fellow gamers, this is OJ, I'm back from being sick for a while, but now I'm back. I'm still a bit sick, but that's not gonna stop me from making this video, which is another review video, like I did last time on West Coast Chill and the drinks. But in this video, I'm gonna do about this particular item I have right here. It's called Roquette Tion, which is a multi-button mouse made by Roquette, which is a German company that manufactures professional hardware gaming products and accessories. So, first I thought I'm gonna show off the package, which I just show quickly right there, a bit tease. So, here's the package which I got the mouse in. Very fancy good looking, like myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. Anyway, there's some futures standing on here and stuff. I'm gonna post that so you can read myself, yourself I mean. And I'm mumbling right now, so I can probably not announce some of these things, so that's just gonna be awkward. And here's the back side, and the inside. Here's some instructions and stuff. There's also they're including a manual, as it should be, which I have read in and out already, but I'm not here to read the story. So, to the main course, the mouse itself. Here's a good looking fancy thing. I have used for a, a week right now. Not disappointed, I can tell you that right now. As you can see here, as I mentioned, it was a multi button mouse. It has, let's see, this key here, and these two, the browser ones. I'm gonna explain deeper in detail what these keys do later. Um yeah this is about those one, two, three, four, five. I think it is. Then there's the upper buttons. The classic left click and right click as you can see. Then there's this on each side, two buttons. Then there's this fiend which is used yeah, I'm gonna tell you later. So they told me it's sixteen keys I think. Yeah, 16 keys. That's a whole lot <laughs> compared to what the uh, other mouses has had before this one. What else? Yeah, I was gonna explain what the keys do. So, let's start with the upper ones. So these ones I have right here on the left side. I have assigned as Alt, as Alt as in the keyboard, and Control. You're very useful if you're playing MMO, or like Vov, which I'm gonna show you later, which I demonstrate when I use the keys. Then there's these ones, which can be used for tilting, or delete, or home. Any of those keys I'm gonna show you later in the program that I made for the mouse. And they have the Fiend thing, it's also used for tilting, you can assign to other stuff too. Oh yeah, I forgot the scroll. The scroll, the classic scroll. The last thing I like about the scroll is that it has like this valleys or groups, like it's made for gripping your finger. It's very good. And there's that's about it. And then there's the side. I don't know, I have really bad quality on this webcam. I think you guys can see. As I mentioned earlier, the classic browser back and forward. Also can be signed like anything. Then you have this thing. I'm not really sure what this thing. I think it's like for looping up and down, you know, for FPS and stuff. Then we have the easy swift key. Swift key, I mean. You can also assign to other stuff, but I haven't got this key to work yet. But I'm planning to. I think it's made for uh, FPS games. I haven't really got to test that yet. So, yeah, I think I'm going to demonstrate now how I use the keys, so, be right back, I'm going to show you here on another video. 
So here I am in Vav, back to my level 90 warrior, which I'm gonna demonstrate the key binds which I have assigned to my buttons on the Rocat Tyan. So I'm gonna start on with this key I have right here, which I have Alt on, the shortcut Alt on the w left upper one. So here we go. I'm gonna buff. I clicked Alt one there and Alt three. Working perfectly, and I'm gonna click Alt R. No problems, swift and good. So now I'm gonna take the lower one just below that one, which is Control. Control one. There, I use my Berserker. Now I'm gonna use my Troll buff. No problems, right? Just quickly, uh, I tested this in actual combat and it's working perfectly, much more quicker than I when I used the actual key, keys on the keyboard. So I'm really happy about that. So I'm going back to the face cam. Guys, I showed you a few things what you can do with the mouse keys I just showed you on Valve with my level 90 warrior. Um, there were two keys, but those have really helped me a lot through because I'm a new with WoW and I can really get confused with keybinds and their positioning and and all that. So yeah, it made a whole lot easier. And as I mentioned earlier, all the other keys I really haven't tested them out yet, but I'm gonna test them out in uh, FPS games like uh, Battlefield 4 or something like that. So I thought I'm gonna show you the program I was talking about earlier, show you the key binds and all that, and the extra options you can uh, yeah, adjust and tweak your mouse with. So here we go. So here's the main program I was talking about, where you can tweak your mouse, adjust the sensitivity of the mouse, the vertical scroll speed on the mouse wheel. The tilt speed. This is talking about. Anyway, I haven't looked through everything yet. Uh, it's a whole lot. It could take hours. I don't know. I'm not the best professional on this. Then we had the button assignment, the top button side buttons. As you can see here, at 9 and 10, there's where I have uh, changed to Control and Alt, which uh, <laughs> comes in handy. So, this is also control and alter. I haven't really decided what I want on every bottom. So, and we have the side ones, and this is the up and down I was talking about. Then we have the easy swift, swift, swinglish right there. And here we have the browser buttons, backward and forward, which I use for like knife and grenade. On uh, FPS games. Then we have the advanced one, which is controlling unit and distant control. Uh, they're really advanced to uh, explain, but it adjusts to the mouse mat so the sensitivity of the mouse doesn't get too high. And this one is uh, for how far you can. Uh, lift up the mouse and the laser can still control uh, what else there's a bunch of stuff then we have the color adjustment so color control where you can change and uh, you know customize the color of your mouse uh, I don't really know. I kind of want to have red, but I really haven't figured out how to have red full time. But anyway, we can change like here. I just like the fact I have breathing. When I have like heartbeat, which goes like I can show you. Um, I took blinking, uh, which is like this. You get an idea. You can change stuff like that. Then we have just color flow effects, which I'm really still confusing about. Then we have uh, the trophy achievements, and uh, you can 
look up how many times you have clicked on each key or button on the mouse. You can unlock achievements. So yes, it's really cre creative, creative of them to make such program and uh, it's really taking the technology to another step, which I really like. It's really <laughs> overflowing for me and never has something familiar to this, so I'm gonna look through this myself when there's time. Then you have the update where you can look through if there's any new updates and so on. So yeah, that's about the knowledge I have of this right now, so we're just gonna continue. Click this off. So yeah, I went through the program now, so I guess it's over to the personal opinion about the mouse. So I think I was uh, gonna take it up in like three genres, like comfort, can I can begin with that, comfort of mouse. I haven't had any cramps or anything in my hand and it took, took maybe three days to get comfortable with the mouse, but then it felt like I had a mouse forever after that, so... And especially when you started playing Valve, that comes in handy with all those new things. Uh, technology, as I mentioned earlier, there's this a whole big own software to the mouse, so... And all these new keys that I've never seen on any kind of mouse before. So yeah, I'm no technology pro, so I just have simple opinions about that, so... I gotta write a more advanced uh, opinion on the on the on the on the I'm gonna do a ranking on a text document later posted on blog so I'm gonna go in too deep on that all I can say if you're a guy who play like a lot of FPS MMO RPGs, you know, this mouse is perfect. I think I was planning on getting a race Naga with like 12 side bottoms, like 1 to 12 and so on. But uh, I thought that would become confusing for me, so I guess I made the right choice there. So I don't know how to sound convincing, but I really recommend this is the best mouse I had for a long time. So yeah, I hope you guys liked the video, you can write a comment below if you have questions and so on, or leave a like, that really helps too. So guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more episodes of other stuff. OJ out.